Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. In this video, I'm going to be setting up the, um, a lot of people, especially the old school folks, call this the um, currently page. It's basically the, the page at the very, very, very end of the month that faces your next month. Um, and once upon a time, this used to have a bunch of currently boxes, like watching, eating, loving, feeling, that kind of thing. And some of the planners still use it like that. Um, Mary Ellen from Planning with Bumble still does hers as a currently page. Some folks use it as like a memory keeping. So a, come, since it's at the very end of November, I would take um, and do like a memory, a mini memory keeping spread of all the stuff that happened in November. I, since I have four planners in my transformer planner, I actually only do this page for three of them, but I do use this for goals that are relevant to uh, the section of my transformer planner that it's for. So the cat lady planner I use for my catch all. So this is going to be um, <clears throat> some deco, lots of deco, any birthdays or special holidays, of course, would go down here. Um, and then I use this section to do about four bullet points, two, three, four, five bullet points of things that I want to do around the house for my family, um, for the month of December. So since this is my catch all planner, like I said, this is house, family, bills, that kind of stuff. Um, those will go here. So just so you can see, this is what November's looks like. Um, so I've got a big, beautiful decoration, and then I've got a special day, and then I've got my goals that I can, my four goals for my catch-all stuff um, that I can check off. So, and I always try to kind of color coordinate this page with this page. And you'll see that we'll do social media and um, wellness and fitness as well. So in my Cat Lady Planner, since I like my catch-all planner to be seasonal, and the Cat Lady Planner really isn't, um, I've been printing a vellum page each month to go with, um, to lay over this. So vellum is, excuse me, I got hiccups, a semi-transparent paper. Um, so I just went, I just go usually on the internet and do an image search. In this particular case, I did Christmas Cats watercolor because I like the watercolor style of artwork. And I just got, this is actually three different images that I used Canva to stretch them and size them and put them on there. Um, and I have a video about how I print my vellum sheets, my process. It's a couple months old, but I will try to remember to link it in the cards up above. Um, anyway, this is what I came up with for December. So, and I try to keep the, th the things that I print kind of not covering up the main image. So it just kind of adds to it. So this one, this is kind of blue, blue, black, gray. I've added a, a little, a hit of green here. So I want to, I'm thinking I want to go ahead and do like blue, kind of blue and black over here. Maybe some little hint, hits of color. Um, but so that they, they tie together, right? So to that end, I have pulled a couple different washi tapes. Both of course are simply gilded and I do have a link in the description box for pretty much all of my videos now because I've been using Simply Gilded Washi Tape so much for, um, if you sign up for her um, email, you get a coupon for $5 off a purchase of $15 or more. And then I do as well. There's a code in there, just full transparency. So, um, and her, she does not spam. Her emails are few and far between and very relevant. They always are announcing a sale or a new release because she does several new releases a year. So after all of that, these are both Simply Gilded Washies. They're both, I believe, from Christmas time last year. This was a three pack of different colored lights. There's a pink one, this blue one, and then one that matches this. So I'm gonna use the blue one. I think I'll put it up here. And then I don't have any special dates. So kind of to help um, fill in this gap, I thought I would use this one with the little deer with the um, silver snowflakes on it. Again, Simply Gilded. You can see inside the core of the washi roll there. And then since, like last month in November, if you watch my November goals pages, I got into this giant Seasons of Color book um, and there are a bunch of Christmas stickers. So I probably will use this again for all three spreads. Um, I just love this piece and joy in the way it's got the black and the blue and the green. It's really a, just a perfect match for this sheet. I think Let It Snow I want to save for um, 
January. And then these are, are, are beautiful and Christmassy and I'm going to hopefully use these in one of the other ones, but I don't feel like the colors match over here quite as well. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is pull this out and then I have my white out. So I know I want to cover up notes and ideas. I'm going to go ahead and just, since it's so black, um, so bold, and the washi I want to put over it is pretty pastel, I'm going to go ahead and cover it up. And then I want to run this um, Christmas light blue pastel washi. I'm just going to run it right over top of that, right up against the black. There we go, to mask that white out. And then, like I said, I want to, before I trim that, I want to go ahead and use the deer, which typically I do wildlife and um, animals and floral and flora and fauna, if you will in my wellness planner, but I just really liked these tiny little reindeer on the blue with the silver snowflakes. I thought it just matched too well with the facing page. So we're going to put that there. All right. And as you can see, I mean, this is going to, this is going to be pretty quick. I'm going to do three of these in a video that probably is going to be less than half an hour, I would guess. So this one I keep the most normal. The other ones, I don't need the holidays and dates and holidays. So you'll see if you stick through to the next portions of the video, I usually cover that up. So I'm going to grab my single hole punch and get those two little corners so that it goes in my planner. Okay. So this is just a crocodile single hole punch. Um, it's way heavy duty. I'm using it for this because it's a single and um, it's just really convenient for that. So, all right, I think I want to go ahead and stick this, go ahead and stick this Peace and Joy right here. And you can do, I mean, you could do some memory there too. It, it doesn't have to be like this. Um, this is just what works for me. There we go. So beautiful. Oh my gosh, those colors look so nice. Okay, and then I did pull a couple other sticker books. I pulled this one just because I absolutely adore it. I And um, there is in here a sticker. Well, a few stickers. Um, this little red Christmas tree, this barn. Um, we used to go get our Christmas tree from a Christmas tree farm that had a little barn like that. And I was thinking I wanted to put that on there, but it's so red, you guys. I, you know what I might do? I might stick this one on here, Santa's North Pole Freight and Delivery, because, oh my gosh, wouldn't that be magical if Santa was delivering um, stuff and we didn't have to worry about all the delivery delays that are going on right now? I, I like that. Uh, I just, I saw that and I thought, huh, I'm waiting on stuff, already waiting on stuff that's not going to get here in time. So I know it covers up the reindeer, but that's okay because you can see them. So yes, I like that right there. Okay, and then let's find something. I also pulled this Recollections Fall and Winter sticker book. I did a flip through of this. I, I've had this for several months now, but the, the winter section on this has a lot of blue. And since I'm trying to go for like the blues and the neutrals, I thought I could use these maybe for my bullet points. I do want to put something else there to cover that up. And these, in case you can't tell, they're glossy. So, um, and since they're already check marks, it's going to be kind of hard to check the check marks. You know what I mean? So maybe there's something else in here I can make work for me. I kind of want to cover that up with something too. If there's some kind of action word or something. These, I don't, this might be big enough actually. And I like that they're, they're, the blues match. How about reminder, that pretty blue color. Let's see how well that covers up. Oh yeah, that works. I don't want the words underneath to show, but I don't mind if some of that box that's underneath shows. I do want that to be a little straighter though. Um, I could maybe use use some of these not really the little icons for my I could use these they're big but I usually give each line each one like three or four I could use these 
Except that, you know what, guys? I'm just noticing I have silver on here. And these are all gold. Which I could, I could mix, um, but I don't think I really want to. Okay, so that was a bust. Um, what about, let me grab my big bullet point book. And maybe we can find some asterisks because they look kind of like snowflakes. So this, guys, I will try to remember to link this in the um, cards up above as well. This is a, a made my own. I have a video where all about the process I went through to make my own sticker book. So anytime I buy a new sticker book and it's got a page that's full or mostly all bullet point type stickers, I pull it out. Here we go. <clears throat> I pull it out and put it in this book. Um, and like I said, I have a video on that process, so I will... I will link that. Ooh, what about these? Oh, you guys. I know I can't check these off either, but obviously they're pretty and they're holographic and I think they're perfect for the holidays. So let's do these. Okay, so, and we're gonna do asterisks and I'm not gonna make sure that they're all pointing in the same direction, you know, I'm gonna let them turn so that they look more random like snowflakes. So there's one. I'm just going to leave it at four like that. Oh my gosh, those are so pretty on there. Those are so perfect and pretty on there. I love it. Okay. Um, let me see if I can find some other little decoration to put in that space. So back to this book that had some blue stuff. Winter sparkle, warm wishes, winter is here, let it snow. Here's some nice... There we go. How about that one? I know it's got... Winter is here. Maybe winter is here. It's a cold winter's night. My book is falling apart. I like that one. Although it's a lot, it's like super heavy blue. I know I said I didn't want red, but I really like that one. How about winter is here? Because the first day of winter is in December. And I think that gets forgotten sometimes. So here's the problem. I said two lines for that, and if I do this, I only have one, so I could do Hello Winter with some, let's do that. We're going to do Hello, nope, because it's gold again, but you know what, it's just barely gold. It's just barely gold. I'm going with it. I mean, it's a very, it's not a very yellow gold, it's a, a very white gold. So I'm going to, I'm going to stick with it. Um, I like this candle, just a couple snuggly things to put next to it maybe. And I need two lines. So yeah, that's okay. Let's do, let's do a snowflake. Here's a pair of snowflakes. The ski places out here in the Pacific Northwest are already, they already have enough snow that they're starting to announce their opening days. I love it. Like, we don't have snow. Hi, Jasper. Um, we only live at a thousand feet, but that tried to rip when I tried to get it off of there. Are you going to let me finish? No. Put this right here and try to stay below that line so that I can write my two lines of my to-do list. Okay, there we go. So there is the first one done. Stay tuned and we will go ahead. Oh, let's, let me show you how it matches. Stay tuned and we will go ahead and do my social media goals page next. Okay. So this is my social media planner. And for this one, I don't need the day, the dates here. Um, so I cover that up. This is what, this is what November looked like. So basically I have free reign on the whole top part. And then I move my goals down here to help mask um, the stuff that I cover up down there. So since this one is just black and with gold foil, really my only constraint is to um, do something that allows me to use gold foil. So I pulled these two washi tapes because this one, and again, both Simply Gilded. You'll see a lot of Simply Gilded. Um, I feel like this one is like a nighttime, a nighttime winter village. Um, and if, I feel like it goes well with the, the 
darkness of the black that's going to be over here on this page and then this one just has such pretty blue and again with the gold foil none of my black stardust washies that's what this style from simply gilded is called none of my black stardust washies have gold foil so i'm going to go with this dark dark blue so since i'm using dark washies i think i can get away without whiting out the stuff under the washi um well, except for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and white all this stuff out. I'm going to white all this stuff out. I'm looking forward to the planners for 2022 because they are more flexible on this page. Um, and there's less stuff that I have to white out on the ones where I, on the, on the ones that unlike my catch all where I don't use that stuff. So it's okay in like August where there basically are no holidays, but on the months that are holiday heavy, like this one, for example, it's a lot to white out. So, and then of course I, I got to work, at least I personally like to, um, mask that. So I will probably do blue a lot in January too. <laughs> I'm just thinking to myself. So I'm going to have a lot of blue, I think over the next couple months, but that's okay. I like blue almost as much as green. So. I'm filming this very early. I'm trying to get ahead so I can take the week of Thanksgiving off and do a bunch of fun cooking. Cooking for me is fun. So, all right, so let's cover this one up too. There we go. And I need to repunch these holes. Otherwise, when I go to pop it in my planner, it won't go. And we'll have to do it then. So, <laughs> so as you can possibly guess, um, my go-to for blue stickers is the Hustle and Heart, although I did just, it just occurred to me that indigo would work for this as well, possibly. So let's kind of, let's see here. These could work, you guys, actually. The square ones, how tall are they? They're going to cover up a lot of my building. That's okay, I can, I can actually slide them up a little bit. They're not, I don't need errands though. I do have big plans. Let's keep looking. Okay, copper foil. I think I'm gonna run into that a lot. First things first, I wanna put boxes in here. Um, boxes that are big enough, I could put two items, two to-dos. These are kinda cool. I like the way that blue matches. I might need to, I might use these actually. I could do blue, black, and powder baby blue. It's not really, oh, there's two pages. All right, well, there we go. That's what I'm doing. I think I wanna do, let's do kind of black, this really super dark navy. I want two of those. And then I want one of these, like blue jean denim almost color, because I feel like that goes the best with the washi. Let's start, let's start over here. Okay, and I just kind of brought my point down where it wasn't covering up a big section of the washi tape, or a building on the washi tape, you know what I mean? I know. Before I stick that sticker down, I want to see if there's something I can use. Get it done, got this. I do want one of those for here. Uh, oh, here we go. Let's throw one of these clear splatties on there to mask that white out a little bit. Okay, so what I was saying was I wanted to put something about goals or something there. Um, I'm gonna probably stay away from the green in this book and just stick mostly to blue. So there's a get it done. You got this, important doesn't technically say goals. I like get it done. That works. So then the rest I can just do decoration. And so I was liking these. I feel like they're very um, work slash social media appropriate. Get your hustle on. <laughs> Jasper. <laughs> Move. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> um, and so I still have this book sitting here, and I thought possibly I could tuck one of these into that or under it because there's a, a it's it's a greenish blue, but it does have blue. 
if you can see it past the cat tail that's wagging. Jazzy! <laughs> he had lunch! I don't know why! I don't know, guys! <laughs> no, there's no blue flower there. So the question just is, is this too green for what I've got going so far? And there's some green in here, which you can't see because the camera's deciding to focus on Jasper. There's some green in the washi. It's more of the teal greeny, greenish color. So I could definitely use that. If I remember correctly, there's not a lot of deco in the indigo book. It's mostly, it's one of the more functional yeah, books. There aren't even really any quotes or you're gonna totally put your butt right on my page. Oh my gosh. Let's see, just take a quick flip through here. I'm gonna mark that page. Oh, I need a couple throw a couple bullet points on there too, you guys. Those are huge. That I could put um maybe across the top. Can I have this please? No. Your butt is totally parked on there. Nope. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to try to get him settled. I'll be right back. Okay, so I definitely, I was thinking I could use this blue strip up here, but um, this sticker is a little greener than that. So since the only really nod toward teal and green I have is this washi tape, I decided I'm going to go ahead and put another strip of this washi tape up here against the black to kind of bring a tiny bit more teal and green in to make that sticker look more a, um, a part of things. See this teal and green right there? I feel like that'll help coordinate in that sticker, which I really do want to use. All right, so I want to use this with, um, so we're not going to use that with one of these. I think I like get your hustle on. I could put this up here to cover that bit of white out, help mask that. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Just kind of want to put these two together. And I do want get your hustle on. I want that to not look crooked to me. That's cute. Oh, I like that. And I'm glad I used that washi because now I don't feel like that sticks out like a sore thumb. Okay, so I think that's all I can get out of this book. Everything else is pretty big and has copper foil or is the wrong color. About the only other thing I could, none of those are blue or green, well, they're green, but I don't know why those two foils look like they're different colors. One's a little orangier than the other. Um, what else do I have? So I have... I don't think there's anything else really that I want out of this book. Dream big, work hard, stay focused. Okay, let's figure out a way to work this in. I need something gold here, I think, to, to layer with it. And I don't think there's much in the way of gold foil in this book. How about some gold florals? line art like so this looks kind of like holly berries i know it's really hard for you guys to see um just gonna center this kind of top to bottom in the space i have available there and try to tuck this up underneath in a way that looks cool and then let's see is there anything in this book winter is here i could layer that on top of one of these. This looks kind of like the outline of a poinsettia, you know? Just a little bit. Yeah, I think I like this idea. I'm liking this idea. Okay, we're gonna put this here. Hello winter, because again, the first day of winter is in uh, December. So either hello winter or winter is here. I think winter is here. Let's do that. Oh yeah, I like that. I'm just going to put it right over top of that gold sticker. You guys know me and my coffee. I kind of want to put this cup of coffee. This sticker sheet didn't come with this book. I kind of, uh, here's the problem. I want it over here to help balance that. Because if I put it here, that's kind of the same 
color family and it's all in one spot. So this is a Michaels winter or fall sticker sheet. Um, I just felt like it went with this book. So, oh my gosh, Jasper, really? <laughs> you are just not going to let me get finished today, are you? Where was that page of um, clear deco in the back section? I know there was some. I don't think I'll get lucky enough to see, find a coffee cup, but maybe something else. Here we go. That is appropriate. I could put one of these little houses on there or ooh, a Christmas tree. What about a little Christmas tree? I'm not going to bring a bunch of red in, that's for sure. So I don't want that. Oh, did you see that? It totally shredded. Yeah, let's plant a little Christmas tree right there. Okay, that is done. Excuse me, Jasper. Excuse me. Can I fit this here? Okay, so there's how we did matching. I know you guys can't see it. I don't have room for a cat and a planner. Let me pull them onto my lap. <laughs> there we go. So that's how I did that one. So stay tuned. Hopefully Jasper will be napping and we'll be able to get um, my wellness and fitness goals page done. Okay, everyone. Last but not least is my December in my catch-all. I'm sorry, in my wellness and fitness planner. And as I'm filming this, Jasper is sitting in my lap. I will, <laughs> here's a picture. Okay, so for this one, I like to set it up like the original wellness planner used to be set up. These are old pages, but this is what the monthly used to look like when the wellness planner very first came out from Happy Planner, and it was basically a vertical. Um, so they did, they did these three journaling prompts, how I'm strengthening my mind, how I'm strengthening my body, what I'm loving about myself, there was a monthly um, habit tracker, and then there was space for like three or four goals, like eating better, exercise, whatever. And then it had the dates again, or the um, holidays and things again, which I don't use that. So and we're gonna try to set mine up something like this. So in order to do turn this page into something like that, oh, and incidentally, this is what we're trying to match to. So you can see silver foil, um, lots of dark bluish green, evergreen. There's a um, some brown and a little tiny bit of pinky gold in there. So that's what we're going to try to match to. So white out. First, we're going to get rid of. We're going to get rid of these again. I'm going to cover this up. I've pulled some. You guessed it. Simply gilded washi tape. Um, and. Let's leave that for now. Okay, so here's the Simply Gilded Washi Tape I pulled um, for a couple reasons. It's not all kinds of greens. It's a little more of a yellow green than that other one, but that's okay. But I love the foil. The foil is silver and green. And again, this is Simply Gilded. I, I, the thing I don't remember at all on this is when this came out. Maybe, maybe spring. Um, I, I don't know. But the thing with Simply Gilded is if it's on our website, it's there. If it's not, it's not. So, all right. So I'm going to cover that with the fat and then this with the thin. So for this one, you, as you could probably guess, we're going to be matching to different shades of green and silver as much as possible. So... I don't need to white that out because I am going to put a habit tracker a month, one of the big square month habit trackers on there. Oops. All right. I was going to move that up a little, but it does not want to move. So next then for those three journaling boxes, I do print out, um, if you've watched, if you're familiar with my channel at all, I don't know where my wax paper went. Uh, I print my own journaling prompts for the weekly view and I also do the how I'm strengthening my mind, my body, and myself. Um, I print that out to go on this monthly page. So I still have this book handy and I was looking on the cover these this page looks blue but you know when I'm looking at it that's actually a really 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 dark green. And you can tell it's a really dark green because when you compare it to the regular size sticker book, the sticker in there um, is actually blue. 
So next to each other, you can definitely tell that that's green. Where is it? I just had it open, you guys. I swear it's here. Oh, there it is. Let us know. So see this? Well, maybe you can't see on camera, but to me in real life, it's very plain that this clear one is green and this one is blue. So I'm going to save the blue one for January for one of these and go ahead and use the green one. Um, so it's obviously it's going to go right there. So then what to do for the boxes, the journaling, the boxes that are going to go under these. I pulled this wellness book because it's got the best like none of them have a really dark green but this one's got like these greens and so when I compare to the washi tape I feel like any of these four will work and then I can just use my sticker to cover this up so <coughs> since there's not a lot of lime over there I'm actually thinking maybe these three boxes so let's go ahead and put these on there and so what I'm going to do is use this for alignment. I'm just going to sit it here as if I was going to put the sticker right against the edge of the page. And I'm going to center the boxes underneath each of those prompts. Actually, let's put it right like here. Just lining that up. And then I can center this box above this quote. We're just going to snug it right up against the washi tape. Okay, and then we'll do this one. <clears throat> and yeah, the washi tape shows through, but when I put some really high contrast um, pen on there, you won't even notice it. So let's go ahead and put this on there because that's all I actually need this for. So again, if I line this up right at the, all against the edge of the page. Next, let's grab a habit tracker. So lots of greens in the habit tracker world. I think, yeah, um, I think I want this one. So monthly habit tracker. And the, this is from the Trust the Process book. So I'm going to put this up here. So I can pick one habit to focus on. And then I want to put about four bullet points on there. Again, exercise goals, eating goals, whatever that might be. So let's look in here for that. And also for something to cover that up. So I could use these, something long and thin to cover that up. Give yourself a pep talk, except that's got rose gold on it. There we go. How about this? Your greatest wealth is your health. Let's use that. If it costs you your inner peace, it's too expensive. I could put that somewhere. We'll see if there's room for that. <clears throat> I could use these as my bullet points, except they're kind of big and they have rose gold. All right, let's go back and use those check boxes. This isn't actually something I typically check, actually check off. It's just kind of more notes to myself. So I'm just gonna use some of the different greens. Excellent. So this is gonna be a quick one. Um, it's just a matter of do I have room for that or not. So let's put, I don't think I'm going to. I think if I put this let it snow on there, that's going to be about it. Oh wow, it's so big. Well, that's it because I can still read that. So that was super fast. That was way faster than I was expecting. Let's see how it looks compared to the green page beside it. Pretty darn good. I like it. This is a grayer, bluer green, but I've got so many different shades over here and then the silver foil matches. I think it looks great. So there we go. That is um, three goals pages for three different sections in my planner for December. I hope you like this video. I hope it encourages you to do something with that page. Memory keeping, goals, currently, whatever, whatever it may be use that page. It's there. It's not running away. Put some stickers on it and use it. I hope you like this video. If you do, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.